Pincer is known as Kairos, which comes from Kai, the Greek letter for X, and Cross. X Cross! This is a reference to its scissor like horns that can cross chop an enemy in half. And in case you were wondering, Pincer can in fact learn the bug type move X Scissor, which in Japanese is known as Scissor Cross. Interesting how the Japanese and English version of this attack each contains a part of its name, almost as if it was meant to be a signature attack. Now we move from Kairos to Toros, which is known as Kentoros, which also has its etymology rooted in Greek, deriving from the word bull, Toros. It's also a reference to Kentoros, centaur, and Minotauros, both monsters from Greek mythology. Pretty cool how its name fuses these two mythological beasts together. Hmm, I wonder what a fusion between a centaur and a minotaur would look like. Oh yeah, Rabbit Horseman from Yu-Gi-Oh! answers this question. So this monster is like Tauros' brother from another mother. But what am I doing here? This is a Pokemon name variation series. You don't want me making a video series talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! name variations, right? Let me know in the comments if you want me to make a Yu-Gi-Oh! name variation video. Magikarp is known as Koi King, a combination of Koi, the type of fish it is, and King. Oh look, it's even got a tiny little crown on his fish noggin. Hail to the Koi King, baby. Gyarados' Japanese name is Gyarados. The Gyara could derive from Yakten, which means surprise change, which is definitely fitting for this Pokemon. And Yarento, which is the Japanese equivalent of Gallant. The Dos part could come from the Japanese word Dos, dagger, because of its dagger-like fangs. Or Dosun, the sound effect of WOMP. Many believe that the dose could also come from the Spanish word for two because it's the second stage in an evolution, but I think that's just a neat coincidence and probably not intended by the creators. I mean, if Magikarp's Japanese name was Koyuno, then sure, I'd believe it. Also, many Japanese websites I visited mention Gyarados' name being a fusion of two famous high-flying kaijus, Yaos from the Gamera series and Rodan from the Godzilla series. I couldn't find any official word from Game Freak on the matter, but I wouldn't put it past them. One thing I can say for certain, they sure love Dai Kaiju films. I mean, max battles are essentially Poke Kaiju fights. Lapras is another Pokemon we can add to our long list of unchanged names. <laughs> Lapras's Japanese name is Lapulas. This name most likely derives from Lapis Lubu <laughs> Lazuli. Hold on, I got this. Lapis Lazuli, a gem that shares the same color of this seafaring plesiosaur. Oh, and the uh, Pless in Lapris could be connected to plesiosaur, the type of dinosaur it resembles. In addition to that, it could also be connected to the French scholar Pierre Simon Laplace, I suck at French, so please do not crucify me, who studied the ocean's tides, could have also inspired Lapris's name. One more thing Laplace also apparently means seat in French. Oh, just thought of a good nickname for good old Lapras. C T. Seat. Ditto goes by Metamon. Combination of metamorphosis and monster. The cutest little ball of L O V E, aka Eevee, is known as Eebui. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'll say it, I'll say it properly. It's a uh, Eebui, made up of the first two letters of evolution, set in a Japanese fashion. Eevee's evolved forms, Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon, are Showers, Thunders, and Booster. Porygon is another Pokemon whose name is unaltered. Porygon comes from Polygon, but since the L sound doesn't really exist in Japanese, he was named Porygon instead. Ammonite, Amastar, Kabuto, and Kabutops are the same in Japanese as they are in English. Omunaito is a combination of Omugai, Nautilus, and Ammonite, an extinct marine mollusk. Omusta is the same as its pre-evolved form combined with star. Kabuto is a style of Japanese helmet, but it's also a shortening of Kabutogani, the Japanese name for horseshoe grab. Kabutops is the same as its pre-evolved form mixed with triops. Tops is also the suffix used in prehistoric animals like the Triceratops, and that means face. So, I guess Kabutops' name means helmet face? Hmm. It is ten characters long, too. To nickname or to not nickname? That is the question. Yeah, I'm nicknaming them. Helmet face is hilarious. Let's do it. Helmet face. Aerodactyl is the only fossil Pokemon to have a different name in Japanese. Putera 
which is a shortening of Pterodon. Snorlax's Japanese name, Kabigon, has the most hilarious etymology we dealt with so far. Kabigon is actually the nickname given to a game-free game designer by the name of Koji Nishino, who was apparently known for eating moldy food. Hmm. Mold in Japanese is Kabi, and Gon is an automatic PA sound for a loud thud or a bonk sound effect. But the Gon part is actually most likely a reference to the Ultraman Q kaiju, Kanegon, who is also known for eating strange things. In this case, Kanegon was known for eating money. Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres are probably among my favorite names created by the localization team for Pokemon. I mean, the fact that they combine their elemental forces with Uno, Dos, and Trace is pure genius. But unfortunately, I can't say the same thing about their Japanese names. In the original version, they are known as Frieza, Thunder, not to be confused with Thunder's, Jolteon's Japanese name, and Faya. I'm starting to think that Pokemon was created to teach English words to Japanese children. But hey, it's cool that Articuno shares its Japanese name with the chillingly evil Lord Frieza from Dragon Ball. Speaking of dragons, let's segue to the only dragons in Kanto. Sorry, uh, Gyarados and Charizard, you really don't count. Dratini's Japanese name is Mini Ryu. Yu means dragon, and Mini means mini. Fun fact, Dratini was actually the center of a banned episode that was set in the Safari Zone that never aired on American television, with a warden that resembles Clint Eastwood. Dragonair's Japanese name is Hakuryu, which means white dragon, and it most likely is based off of Baodong, the dragon god of the west in Chinese mythology. And apparently in its evolution process, it went so far west, it turned into a western style dragon. Dragonite, which in Japanese is known as Kaidu. Kai could either come from the Chinese sound reading of C, which is Kai, or it could come from Kaiju, which means monster. Both words are associated with its anime debut, as it splashed onto the scene from the sea in a style reminiscent of cinema's most famous kaiju, Godzilla. And the nu suffix means dragon. Finally, at the home stretch of the Kanto region, we have our final two Pokemon, Mew and Mewtwo. Are you ready for the Japanese names? Drumroll, please. Oh, that was weak. That's a bad way to end this episode. Well, I can at least break down the names. Okay, so uh, Mew is the sound that cats make, and two is the second number of numbers. Okay, okay, let's dig a little deeper. Uh, Mew can also come from the word mutant. It also sounds close to the Japanese word Mio, as in Kimyo, which means bizarre, as in Jojo no Kimyo no Woken. Fun fact, Uncho Ishizuka, the voice of old man Joseph Joestar in Stardust Crusaders, is also the voice of Professor Oak in the Pokemon anime. That's a fun way to end it. Jojo rocks, right? Well, that was fun. I had a great time making this video. In fact, I don't want to stop. There's hundreds more Pokemon to talk about, so let me know if you want me to continue to the Johto region. I wanted to give a big thanks to Bulbapedia, Japanese Pokemon Wikia, and the ZooCon for all the information provided in this video. And thank you everyone for watching. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on the latest videos and live streams. Right now I'm playing Pokemon Gold for the Game Boy Color, and you don't want to miss that live, so stay tuned.